Get off the right wheel. Love you too. Love you too. Man, I feel good. Good things happen when I feel good. Not just for me, but for everybody in this room. Tina, th thank you for giving me even more inspiration to move this needle. I talk about it almost at every national, guys. I don't do this for me anymore. I do it for you. I do it for your families. I do it for the corporate team. I do it for their families. And you should too. You should too. Look at your neighbor and say, do your part. Do your part. A little bit of housekeeping rules here. We're about to light up social media right now. Get your phones out. We're about to, we're about to close with a bang. <laughs> when I'm done with this, you're going to be floating out of here with your hair on fire and your feet will never touch the ground again until we get to New Orleans. <laughs> It's going to be that good. Hashtag five links is lit. Can we do that one? Hashtag five links is lit. We're on fire. 50 days of blaze. Hashtag what? Wherever you can. Stand up and get as much of a crowd behind you and do a selfie post and say, Five Links is lit. Hashtag Five Links is lit. I'm doing mine right now. Doing mine right now. Y'all want to put a five up in this one? Put your fives all the way up in the air in this one. You ready? You ready? Hashtag what? Bam. Right, Nelson? Bam. Bam. Put that all platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, you name it. Let's drown the noise. Hashtag five links is lit. 3,000 boxes, but they forgot my 10. I still got my TV box application. But guess what? We're not done yet. Who has one of these right now? And you haven't filled it out yet. Fill it out as responsibly as you can and put it in the box out there, like I'm going to do after this training. We're not done yet, Nelson. We're not done yet. I want to know that we hit four or 5,000 before we left here. I'd like to give Marshall Forston and Ashley Cooper a round of applause for that TV training. Incredible, incredible champions. My topic today, 10 ways to achieve your greatness. Nothing's going to happen until you realize you can do it. You guys think, oh, well, those guys got all kind of nice suits, nice shoes. They look good. They got $30,000 watches and $10,000 rings. What do y'all think? Oh, we special. No, that's why I wore jeans today. I put my pants on one leg at a time just like everybody in this room. There's nothing special about me. I just tapped into my purpose. When you tap into your purpose, you can do anything. 
you can do anything. And that's what I want you to focus on. My story, for those that don't know, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. One of the roughest neighborhoods. Grew up in the crack epidemic era. 2016 and 2017 has been a year of separation and cleansing that God has given me. One of my best friends that got life in jail came home. We thought it wasn't going to happen. That burden has been on my shoulders for 15 years. He cut away the negative people that were in my life. For those that don't know, I never had a PBR in my mansion. Because when I was a kid in that apartment, we were victims of a home invasion. They put pillows on our heads. I was nine years old. The next day, I said, I'm going to protect my family. Every single day, I was bearing arms till college from nine years old. Every day. I'm going to be authentic. <laughs> it doesn't hurt anymore. We did bad things. We just, wanted to we just wanted to protect the house. My dad left when we were eight. I had to step up. Are you getting this? You got to cleanse yourself. I took a shower, 2017, 2016, I took a shower. Nothing phases me anymore. I've seen it all. I lived through it. I'm still alive. Hashtag still strong. Put that on social media. Hashtag still strong. Hashtag we are. We are. I study champions. I study champions. I try to figure them out. And I know that you probably study me. And you try to figure me out, like, why is this guy a diamond? How did it happen for him? I took my pain and I turned it into power. A lot of you guys are hurting out there and need to learn how to do that, the same thing. A lot of you guys are in pain. You got to take that pain. Some of you guys are going back to eviction notices, empty refrigerators, don't know how you're going to get home. You have a why, just look at your bank account. Look at your kids in the eye. Anybody get laid off lately? Stand up. Congratulations. Congratulations. There's greatness in you. You're a business owner now. What are you going to do with it? Hire yourself. Work harder doing this business than your to-do list at that job. I study great people. And I realized nothing's, nothing's different. They, everybody took something painful and made something beautiful out of it. All of them. There's 48, 48 reasons that make a, a champion, a leader, somebody great. And I pulled down 10 of them and with one bonus. Is that OK? 48 of them. 48, when I looked it up, 48 reasons why champions are champions. You guys want to read the, the 10? Number one is what? 
Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10. I'm trying to tell you, if you lock in, tune out the noise, run out of here like you're supposed to run out of here today, everybody should have taken a shower at this Nationals. Everybody should be feeling good. Everybody should be feeling great. And if you know what you can do when you feel great, the spirit is back in the company. You know, it's funny because I never thought I would ever talk in front of people. I was actually the worst presenter in Five Links history. In history of Five Links, I was the absolute worst. When I signed in, I said, my upline's going to do all my meetings. <laughs> what does this guy know from the entertainment industry? You know, it's funny. Whenever I come to Atlanta, there was an all-star weekend game in Atlanta. And I rented out the penthouse suite in that circular building called the Westin down there. And I counted $1.3 million with two cash machines in cash at the end of that weekend. That was 2002. How many people know that that money isn't residual? <laughs> we bought two Hummers. I still got that Hummer, 15 years old. How many people know that if you take care of something, it'll take care of you? <laughs> take care of your business. So that being said, you know, it wasn't my vision. I didn't realize what all that pain meant. It was a bigger vision for me than I had for myself to inspire people. Where did that vision come from? See, when you have vision, great things can happen if you're guided properly. You gotta have a vision for today in Five Links, this week in Five Links, this month in your five links business? Where are you gonna be in three years? A vision for yourself. Where are you gonna be in five years? Write these things down. Pull out your pen and write these things down. Because if you don't do it now, guess what? You're gonna get caught up building somebody else's empire with your time. A lot of people need to have more urgency in what they want for their life. Build your vision. What do you want your life to look like in 20 years? Let me show you what happens to somebody that has a vision for themselves, no matter what's happening to them. There's a letter in the alphabet that nobody else can own because now it's hers. She owned the letter. You can't have the letter. That's gone. The one out of the 26 is gone. Change your name. It's not yours. She was abused as a child. Lots of pain. She's still not married to her, her boyfriend, Stedman, because of that pain that she went through when she was this old. Are you getting this? But she harnessed her talent. She sharpened her act. She found her purpose. There's a lot of kids born in Mississippi. A lot. It could have happened to any of them. But she changed her pain to power. She found her greatness in that child's Oprah Winfrey. They told her that she was unfit for television and demoted her as an anchor person in Baltimore, Maryland. Said, this is it for you. How many guys know that 
what's for you? She redefined an inanimate object, a couch. The couch ain't been the same. I know Ellen's trying. The couch hasn't been the same. Because guess what? You got to put your time on that couch to catch up. You got to put in decades on that couch to catch up. You got to have a vision for that couch. She was on that couch for 30 years with the greatest human beings that walked the planet. She changed the game. She got 15 Emmy Awards. You're going to have to put your time on that couch. She turned her situation into great. That's number one. Number two, you have to believe. Don't go through the motions. A lot of you guys are going through the motions. You're showing up. You good? Yeah, hanging in there. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, you know, making it happen. How's your business? Well, you know I had to take a break for three months. How many PBRs have you done since the last national? None. <laughs> How many PBRs you did last month? One. How many people came out to that PBR? One. So you mean you're going to do one PBR with one guest, and worst case scenario, it's one out of 10 to close. Worst case scenario, you're going you're gonna to get one rep every 10 months? Yeah, but when I go full time from my job, listen, calm down. <laughs> Pump your brakes. Going full time on your off, going full time five links, and you've only done one PBR with one guess is going to make you quit five links. This is a plan B, alternative income solution, until you've effectively gotten your residual income $1 above your monthly obligations. And you got to believe that you can do that. When you believe, then others will, in you, then others will believe in you. But what has to happen first? You have to believe in who? Yourself. Some of y'all have been beat up out there. Don't let them beat you up. Take that negativity and turn it into vitamins. Every no should be a vitamin. It should be an encouragement. So basketball, there's hundreds of millions of basketballs out there. There's plenty of ghettos, there's plenty of professionals that, that use this as an instrument, a tool. But when you believe and you have a basketball, <laughs> amazing things can happen, yes? So there's another kid. He's, Born in Brooklyn, New York, his parents moved to Wilmington, North Carolina. He took that ball and he practiced. He sharpened his ax. Look at your neighbor and say, you're an ax. He got tied in, he, he got locked and loaded. This is how, this is how you gotta be with your business. He dialed in, he focused, he believed. He had a vision. He tried out for the high school basketball team. He said, I'm gonna be the greatest on this team. He goes, he makes the team, and then they cut him off the high school team. He immediately goes home, locked himself in the room, and cried for days.
He took that pain. He added belief. And he can fly. He did what he did so well that the crime rate in Chicago went to zero when he played the game. And when you take your pain and you push through and you achieve greatness, you'll get the reward. Now he's crying over the championship trophy. But guess what? He didn't just cry on that trophy once. He cried on that trophy six times. <laughs> he took a little hiatus. His father was brutally murdered at a rest stop in a Lexus that he bought his father. He took off for, he couldn't play the game anymore. His why was gone, his father is gone. It hurt him so bad, he said, I, I quit. This is because of my celebrity, it's all my fault. My dad's not here. He said, my dad always wanted me to play baseball. So he ended up, switching his talent to baseball and even got on a league. He never practiced baseball. He was a basketball kid. He was batting a 2.5 batting average. You know how hard that is to do for someone that practiced baseball all their life? But he had a Look at your neighbor and say, what's your why? <laughs> Two years later now, they call this dog years when you're in the sports world. Two years off of basketball is like 14 years off in real life. The intensity of the game magnifies, the speed gets quicker, the, I mean, it's crazy. He came back after a two-year hiatus when he felt like he got his bad. When he mourned and got past that, he came back. And Dennis Rodman got added on the team. And he scored 13 the first night, 20 the next night. Before you know it, he was at 44. 45 points a game, and they came back in spite of a flu game. And they said that he almost died and hit the winning shot and won the ring three more times. Yeah. Look at your name and say this. There's, there's a champion in you. <laughs> hard working. Champions are hard working. When I leave here, I won't be home for two weeks. I got an 11 city tour that I planned months ago. Tomorrow, our first meeting right here in this building. Monday, I'll be in Columbia. Actually, no, where am I going to be? Char Charleston, sorry, Charleston, South Carolina, on Monday. Tuesday, where am I Tuesday? Columbia. Where am I Wednesday? Charlotte. Where am I on Thursday? <laughs> Load base, the closer's coming in. We're gonna, we're gonna knock the ball out the park on this tour. Load the seats.
call everybody you know. I'm gonna build a business for you on this tool. Then on Saturday, where am I Saturday? Where? Maryland. Super Saturday. Where am I that following Monday? <laughs> I wish. Where am I that following Monday? Delaware. Delaware. Right, Olivia? Yeah. Y'all better low base. Delaware is wide open. Where am I on Tuesday? Philadelphia, one SVP, one SVP in the whole market. Two? I thought Jelani was in Jersey. All right, let's just say two. He's South Jersey. No PSVPs in Philadelphia, in the whole state of Pennsylvania. Anybody see an opportunity? Where am I on Wednesday? New Jersey, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Where am I on Thursday? The Big Apple, get your bite of the Big Apple. Wide, look at your neighbor and say, it's wide over. And then on, I think that's the last of them, man, on April 8th, where am I gonna be? Rhode Island, one SVP in all of Rhode Island. Where's Cappy? Give it up for Dr. Cappy Boyce. Love you, girl. So, a lot of people say, well, Tupac, you work too hard. I don't want to join that business. If I, and I, I like it there. I say, you work too hard. I might put in a hard two weeks, and I could take off as long as I want. Like. You nine to five, I can't do that in two hours each way in traffic. And, and you're doing it for somebody else. With no residual. So what happens when you put in hard work? You got another inanimate object, a microphone. Lots of microphones, lots of studios, lots of stages. It all depends on who has the microphone, yes? So they give the microphone to a young kid that has a compelling story. If you gotta catch one of his documentaries, his father left too at nine years old. He shot his brother in the shoulder because his brother stole from him, his older brother, at 12 years old. He hit the streets hard. He ended up getting his high school diploma, though. I was the first one to bring Jay-Z to Washington, D.C., by the way, okay? I was the first one. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. I got to do that one time this week. March 9th, this past week, March 9th, marked his 20th year anniversary of his untimely death. Jay-Z has more number one records than the Beatles. He took his pain. and turned it into millions. Recently, he sold a 20% stake of Tidal streaming company that he bought for $46 million for $220 million to Sprint. $220 million, he paid $45 million for the company, built it up, and sold a small slither of it for $220 million. It's 
worth over half a billion dollars. From the projects with all that pain and hard work. And he got his prize. He continued to get prizes. <laughs> Young girl out of Houston, Texas. See, I was supposed to train when I got the train email, the training email from Denise, I was supposed to train on time management. And I said, okay. And I submitted my training three days late, as always. I'm sorry, Denise. <laughs> Bear with me. And it was good. It was pretty good. The moral of the story with that training, I'm just going to share it anyway, <laughs> is that there's no such thing as time management. Listen, Jay-Z, Beyonce, guess what? They all have 24 hours a day. It's what they're doing with it. And together with her half a billion, half a billion dollars. What happens when you put half a billion dollars plus half a billion dollars together? <laughs> Billionaires. What recently made the news recently is they just purchased the largest home in California for 200 plus million dollars. Her gift to Jay-Z was a $40 million private jet. Look at your neighbor and say, it's time to step into your greatness. There'd be a lot of happy husbands in here. <laughs> Ladies. Like Adrian Crutch always says, there's nothing wrong with a lioness bringing some meat home, too. Shout out to Chimmy Keys with the Fempire Tour. There's microphones. There's time. And there's hard work. There's you. There's five links. There's time. And there's, there's what? Hard work. Character. Character is absolutely everything everything. We have a co-founder right now, actually, sorry, an owner. He's in the owner's box right now. He's the chairman of the board right now. And his delivery can be a little brash. But he's saying the right thing. He brought us back into reality. Brought us back into reality. And some of you guys are still skeptical, but don't listen to what he has to say. Look at his track record. We went into Las Vegas. Two weeks before Las Vegas, he took the helm. If he didn't do that, we wouldn't have been able to get to Las Vegas. We were supposed to launch our first version of IPTV. What was the name? We had been promoting that for two years. Some of y'all, after we changed the name and launched, you kept on saying Turvy for three more months because you were so programmed <laughs> saying Turvy. His team put together TV in two weeks with a new vendor and turned it around so, so that we could keep this thing together because if we didn't launch an IPTV service, 
in Vegas, there would have been no Atlanta. We are. How many people see people go all the way up and then all the way down? People go all the way up and then go where? Character is everything. Talent will get you to the top, but it takes character to keep you there. Who's ready for the top? Let me tell you, it's the most beautiful, beautiful climb. It's the most beautiful climb. It hurts, it's painful, but when you get there, the scene is amazing. Look at your neighbor and say, get to the top. The White House. I don't usually get political. I'm not really getting political here. All I have to say is when you add a young kid, you know, biracial mom, I mean, biracial parents, and his vision for himself, based on his belief, based on his hard work, are you seeing this? He had to overqualify himself, two law degrees, editor of the Harvard Law School Journal, all of this stuff, overqualifying, overqualifying. He had to do it all to get a shot. You give the White House to him. and you had hope. Thank you, Barack Obama, because you gave my best friend a second shot. Thank you, Five Links, for signing that petition when I was putting that petition on Facebook. Now a father has came back home to his five kids. <laughs> Champions. Champions are consistent. To be a champion, you have to be consistent. You can't have a 60-point game in basketball, and then a whole season of two-point games to be considered a champion, a great, the best of the best, a legend. You have to be what? So here's the thing. How many people know, you know, there's lots of golf clubs out there? How many people know that you got to have a what? Consistent what? You give it to a kid, and he makes it his passion, and he develop, develops consistency in his swing. Look at that form. He had the same form. And he breaks all the barriers in the sport of golf. And he becomes the youngest master of the sport and only African American of the sport to get that coat at 21 years old. I don't think you understand. There's a lot of great golf players that played great golf for their entire life and never got a green jacket. He got it at 21. Because he was what? How consistent are you with your business? I build this business what? You guys hear me on the vitamin call. I build this business what? 
and I build this business like I what? And I don't know about you, but I brush my teeth every day. <laughs> Champions. To be a champion, to be a winner, you have to be you got to be positive, guys. What happens when you, you're positive in a, and you grow up in the ghettos of Jamaica and there's tons of kids that are poor in Jamaica? You give them some shoes. And look how God works. Because if he needed a clue, if he needed a sign, all he had to do is look at his last name. Big up to all the Caribbean, Jamaican people in the house. Listen. 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 When you're positive, you could achieve things that might only happen one time in a lifetime. This guy has the world record for the 100 meter dash and the gold medals for three consecutive Olympic games. <laughs> Leaders, champions, greatness, people with greatness, people with the X factor, they get laser, laser. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to get laser. No shiny objects. Light down the tunnel. Laser beam focused. So laser focused that you can cut steel. When I was on my run, I saw Lisa's lifestyle, I saw Tashina's lifestyle, I saw some other leaders' lifestyle that I guess didn't appreciate their lifestyle, I don't care. But guess what? I got laser beamed what? Focused. Bam. We got to get dialed in. You got to if you're not dialed in, your team won't be dialed in. Follow one cause until successful. What happens when you give a young girl, you know, there's millions of tennis rackets. From Compton, Los Angeles. A tennis racket. What happens when you give her a tennis racket and she's going to, the, to sleep with the same lullaby? Car alarms, gunshots, gang violence, people screaming, police sirens, ambulance. That was my lullaby too. Same lullaby every night and you give her a tennis racket. That's what focus can do. I've had the pleasure of being at her house, West Palm Beach. I had the pleasure of, you know, hanging out with greatness, guys. She has a movie theater room in her home in West Palm Beach. They don't go to the movies unless they bring one of those home to put it in the theater. I want you to imagine a theater with trophies to the ceiling, from the floor to the ceiling, all in the movie theater.
You got to focus. You're going to have to sacrifice when you get focused. Things are going to get a little unbalanced between now and New Orleans for those that get what? Champions. Champions play with pain. Champions play with pain. They don't give up because it hurts. Some of y'all are in pain still. Lord, free five links reps from pain. Use your pain. Ring it out into your business. Work hard. Get dialed in. Focus. Believe. Have a vision for yourself. Play through the pain. You give an inanimate object boxing gloves to the GOAT. Came out with that style where, you know, I'ma just let them beat me up for a little while. Called it the rope-a-dope style. <laughs> and then when they get a little tired, <laughs> down goes Frazier, down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. The greatest. There's greatness in you. He was willing to go to jail based on what he believed. He was willing to give up millions of dollars in boxing money because of what he believed. And he won title after title playing through the what? Look at your neighbor and say, play through the pain. Through the pain. That's when you get your prize. Freedom. Champions do it for the freedom. Time freedom, financial freedom. Who wants to be able to do what you want to do when you retire, when you want to do it? Without getting one of those blue aprons. Lots of people are going to have blue aprons on because they're not willing to put their life on the line and build their own business so that they can get. It's a torch. 50 days of blaze. See, here's the thing, a torch was just a torch <laughs> until it had a purpose. You guys, I, I listen to Warren Buffett. I surround myself with greatness. I don't know what y'all watching. <laughs> I don't know what y'all listening to. I listen to the greats. Warren Buffett said, you know, part of his, much of his success actually, is attributed to the fact that he was lucky enough to be born in the United States. Think about this for a second. Seven billion people, 300 plus million people in the US. Seven billion people, 330 million people in the United States. And you're one of them. My family is from Haiti. To have the type of lifestyle that I have today, if I was one generation late, see, you guys have a torch. In Haiti, we have a conch shell. We were the first freed 
enslaved country on the planet. When the slaves blew into that conch shell, it meant it's time to battle. It's time to prepare to give up your life. Champions, the best of the best, the one percenters, we all have a strong reason. <laughs> if you don't have a strong reason why, you'll be compelled to be mediocre. You will live an average life. There won't be much substance between your date of birth and your date of death. What are you going to do with that dash? Not for yourself, but for your last name. What does Y stand for? What hurts you? When I got into this business, God was sending me a message. God is sending you guys so many messages. Don't miss the writing on the wall. Get dialed in. Three reasons why I joined Five Links. God's going to mess your money up to get your attention. I had a declining income. I've gone through millions of dollars in alcohol. <laughs> Millions of dollars in alcohol. I've, I've drank from, you know, when I was in the entertainment industry. <laughs> it wasn't like all at one time. It was over 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly gave it away. It was fun. And then I got a call, which was the second reason why I got involved. And I felt so humiliated. that when my mother called and said, honey, things are getting kind of bad down here in Florida, and I think we're getting ready to lose the... I answered the call, but I couldn't answer. Five links helped me put my mom in that cop. I said, hold on, mom, hold on. I got you, you got me, I got you. She's a single mom saddled with three kids and left to do it on her own. I sent the truck with one of my bonus checks from Five Links to get everything out of the house. Everything out of our house in Florida. And, the, and she got, and she didn't know where I was like, just come. And I got her the condo. And when I gave her the key, My income was shot. There was like, most people wouldn't have just move in with me. But it would, she wouldn't have felt right. How many people know that stress is the number one killer in America? Number one killer in America. Five lengths allowed me to take that number one killer away from my mom. And you ask, why? Why, did, why are you here? Why didn't you go? <laughs> are you kidding me? My daughter 
my son. I got married on the five link stage. Straight up, I'm giving you everything. It is what it is. I am five lengths. We are five lengths. I built that house for $650,000 with five links money. I retired my mother with five links money. She hasn't seen a bill in over nine years. Not one bill. Zero. I put her through school, now she's a chef and she, that's what she wants to do. She said, you ain't just gonna leave me in this condo to die, I ain't got nothing to do. She went to school. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. And now she got a little job, she keeps her money, I don't ask her to pay for nothing. <laughs> My beautiful, lovely wife, I love you. I met her. It's been 17 years we've been together, but I didn't feel like until I got in five links I was man enough to marry her. This is my life. And here's the blessing. Champions never quit. Champions never quit. Champions never quit. Go back a slide. Back a slide for me. Millions of footballs. Millions of footballs out there. Inanimate object. Means absolutely nothing to 99.9% .9 of the people that hold it. <laughs> it's just reality but you give it to a kid from California. He played high school, he, he made the plays in high school, still got overlooked, he always gets overlooked. The number one guy that got drafted when he was in the draft, never amounted to anything. He went around, he went out in the sixth round. The sixth round to the New England Patriots. Anybody watch that, that football game in Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> My pastor talked about this on stage the following Sunday. He just conveniently had off Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> you give the ball to the playmaker. The score. I got a lesson for you, Atlanta. Don't miss the lesson for you, too. <laughs> I know we're in Atlanta. I know we're in Atlanta. But don't miss this message. Half time has gone by, that means they already talked in the locker room. They already had the we gonna turn this around conversation. This wasn't the score at halftime, it was 21 to three. Two minutes and eight seconds before this score, the first play coming out after they got the pump talk, 
intercepted. You ever feel like you do for the blessing, do for the blessing? You, you prepare for it, you study for it, you work out for it, you go hard for it, you sacrifice for it, and you still miss the blessing? Thank you, Adrian Crutch, for this. She sent that to me. <laughs> Y'all can read it. Go ahead. You don't need that prayer. Immediately after throwing that intercept, interception, what happens to the, to the offensive team? They gotta get off the field. Now, a lot of people would have got off the field and said, it's over. It's done, forget it. Just let the clock play. It's weird, there's no way. These guys are killing us. He put his head down. And he prayed. Atlanta thought they won. Ah, oh, yeah, we, ah. What, what, what? What? Told y'all we gonna get up. Told y'all we gonna get that ring. We gonna do the dirty bird on that. Never count your blessing until it's complete. Just because you think you win it, <laughs> that doesn't mean to stop working. So the message in the locker room, <laughs> y'all didn't hear what Bill, nobody asked what Bill Belichick said to the guys in the locker room. But somehow, my pastor found out. Bill Belichick said, guys, we're in a tough situation right here. I want you to look at each other strong, look at each other in the eyes, lock arms. I just need you to do your part. Look at your neighbor and say, do your part. When you do your part, then pray for it with the work. God gives you your increase. Do your heart. They laid off so many people. We want them all back, but there was one person that I was like, I Everybody's thinking about, hey, what, what are we going to do? I went to work. We produce. I never wavered. I'm at every meeting. I'm doing everything. I was in New York right before the national. I was, I don't stop. I'm consistent. And we moved the needle. Thank you, Coach K, for delivering the increase. Thank you, Ashley and Marshall, for delivering the increase and staying focused and having a vision and doing your part. We got Tina back. That's huge. Tina is a single mom, just like my mom, with two kids. Unemployment ain't going to handle that properly. I know. I studied when the lights got cut off under candlelight. I know what it is. It's personal. It's not business. This is what happens when you do your part. 
when you do your part, where the ETs stand up? All the ETs. We are, we need you to do your part. It's, I'm not asking you to do an astronomical number. I'm asking you to do, get, get one person and help them get their bonus. One person can turn to five. All it takes is for you to get 10 people in front of this opportunity for you to get one, and you can turn that one into what? You're helping them get paid. You'll get paid by default. The ET money at five maxes out between uh, customer acquisition bonuses, the cab, and the open line bonus, it maxes out at $350. It's not like you've won the lottery. But now that you got five people, and if you stay consistent and you do this every 30 days, or you could do it every week, it's up to you. But make sure you go five every 30 days and teach your team how to do what? Five every 30 days. Are you getting this? At the very minimum. You don't gotta get all five. You can get one and turn the one to what? Five. $350. Do that a couple of months, you'll be at ED, yes? The numbers at ED, worst case scenario, to get to ET, I mean ED, you need two what? ETs. ET, sit down, make sure you're doing your what? Can I have the ED stand up? I want to give it up to Kim and Maurice Deck, Pastor Jonathan McKnight, Crystal Cadiz for the 50 days of what? Everybody go like this. The ETs are doing five. You got two of them, right, at least, right, EDs? Right? And then you do five. What's five times three? With five times three, depending on how it falls, depending on how many is open line, a ED can get $2,300 in open line bonus and calves, all the way to $4,350. Just by you doing five and your two ETs doing five. Are you getting this? I learned this last night from this stage. Again, thank you, Jonathan McKnight. ED stands for eliminating debt. Have a seat. Need ETs to do their part. I need EDs to do their what? And I need who else to do their part? NDs, stand up. You guys got the most to gain. Come on, stand up, all the NDs. Look at all these BMWs about to hit the road. All these BMWs, all these BMWs. How many EDs does an ND have to promote? Three. Now, we already know that each ED is putting in 15. If the two ETs do their five, the ED does their five, that's 15. And these need three EDs. What's three times 15? 45. But we need you to do your? What's 45 plus five? 50. 50 pays six figures. $10,750 a month, minimum. You're in the top 5% income earners now in the United States, in your part-time business. If you have vision, if you work hard, if you have a strong why, if you play through the pain, if you do your 
15,000 on the top end. 15,000, don't forget that $250. It could be some good you know, allowance money for the kids. I mean, what are we talking about? What are we doing? Your family's depending on you. Do your part. Give it up for our NDs, please. Please have a seat. SVPs, stand up. I love you guys. You showed up. Your check going backwards, some of y'all. People are attacking you. I get it. But it's OK. Because we didn't even count the IMR production. We're just counting the leadership production. I'm ready to rebuild my business. Are you getting this? Now, if the Andes are doing 50 collectively, because everyone's doing their five on the leadership level, SVPs have how many Andes on their team? Three. What's three times 50? Plus their what? Which means how much is all of that? 155 IMRs just joined your business that month. When you execute. What does CEO mean? Chief Executive Officer. That middle word, executive, means to what? Violently. You guys are CEOs. Duplicate. You're leaders. You're the best. You guys are great. Some of y'all better than me. Step into your greatness. Transform lives. You got this. Grab the ball. Win for your team. Practice. Work hard. Have a vision. Believe in yourself. Believe in five links. One band, one sound, one company, one team. And when this happens, we've won our Super Bowl. Thank you. I believe in you. That's why I'm here. My gift is inspiration. Discipline. Discipline holds it all together. Discipline is what, when you have discipline, you know, what's a speedo cat without discipline? This guy's the most highly decorated athlete in the world. Out of Baltimore, yeah, yeah. Maryland. I think I'm a, you know, we work hard, but I think I may partake in the turn up tonight. <laughs> you know, North Korea is testing nuclear freaking missiles and all this crap is going on in the world. You know, you got to enjoy yourself, yes? I think I might partake in a turn up. Who's with me there tonight? <laughs> Celebrate the small successes. Now, that, that, that brings me into self-mastery. Champions, you guys all have five links. I have five links. The kid from Brooklyn, New York, he got five links. He said, the best is yet to come. Man, let me tell you, Coach K, you stretch me, girl. You stretch me. She got me focused. 
I dialed in, I missed the BOM. I'm like, Ian, I'm sorry, I'm getting customers. I can't let my team walk without me. <laughs> I mean, there's people that I sent $2,500 to to bury their family members that wouldn't support me at first. You know how painful this was to do? I had six customers Tuesday night, and before Saturday at 11.59, I had 25. <laughs> Bam! Look at your neighbor and say, do, do. your part. I recently had a little quiet, successful moment. A lot of you guys don't know. But I was featured in Go For No for Network Marketers, Network Marketing. There's a guy in Maryland that's also in there. He's made over $30 million in the industry. He's, he's, in, he's one of 10 people. He's one of 10 people that were featured with me in this book. Discipline, self-mastery, belief, vision, focus, hard work, dedication, commitment, all of these things is what got me to Diamond. It's painful going from a piece of coal to diamond. Play through the pain. Everybody got a rent number. Your rent number is your football. Your rent number is your speedo cap. Your rent number is the boxing glove. Your rent number is the basketball. The rent number is that couch. The rent number is that, oh, own a letter in the al alphabet. Your RIN number is that couch. Your RIN number is the White House. What are you going to do with it? See, you don't have to have extraordinary talents to build this business and get to where I am. You just got to get dialed in, focused, and look in the mirror and have a conversation with who? That's all you got to do. The conversation is getting rid of all the negative self-talk. Allowing the universe to, to give you. You're more than qualified for all your blessings that God put in your heart. No negativity. Get rid of it. No social media negativity. Hashtag five links is lit. lit. I love this little picture right here. A lot of you guys didn't move. You just showed up. You didn't move over the last six months. You didn't believe. You didn't think it was possible. You didn't think we'd be here. You didn't think this, you didn't think this, you didn't think that, you didn't think we'd get locals, you didn't think this, you didn't think that. We got the box now. Five Links has eliminated all the excuses. What are you gonna do with it? Don't internalize the negativity. Nine out of 10 people are gonna be negative. Go for no. Hurry up and take your nine no's, your nine vitamins every day so you can get to your yes. If you're not going through the 10, it's because you don't think you're worth it. You don't think it can happen to you. So before I get off this stage, I believe in affirmations. I'm going to reprogram you right now. I want you to stand on your feet.
successful people do this. I am worthy. I am worthy. I'm the best of the best. I'm amazing. I'm blessed. I'm possible. I'm sexy. I look good. I'm beautiful. I'm talented. I'm strong. I'm five length strong. I'm here to stay. I'm an SVP. I'm an SVP. I'm an SVP. I'm a platinum SVP. I'm a platinum SVP. I'm a platinum SVP. I'm a diamond. 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 I'm a diamond.